Hey there! Today I'm breaking down the differences between MSDRG and APRDRG. These are the two most recognized prospective payment systems for inpatient. Diagnoses related groups, or DRGs, are a cornerstone of hospital billing and reimbursement. If you're in healthcare, you know how crucial it is to understand these groupings. First up, let's learn MSDRG. MSDRG stands for Medicare Severity Diagnosis Related Group. These are primarily used by CMS or the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. The goal here is to classify hospital cases into groups that are expected to have similar hospital resource use. MSDRGs consider the severity of the patient's condition, which means they take into account complications and comorbidities. Currently, cases are classified into Medicare Severity Diagnosis Related Groups, MSDRGs, for payment under the IPPS based on the following information reported by the hospital, the principal diagnosis, up to 24 additional diagnoses and up to 25 procedures performed during the stay. In a small number of MSDRGs, classification is also based on the age, sex and discharge status of the patient. This system helps hospitals get reimbursed more accurately based on the patient's condition and the resources utilized during their stay. Now let's talk APRDRG. APRDRG stands for All Patient Refined Diagnosis Related Groups. Unlike MSDRG, APRDRGs are used not just for Medicare patients, but for all patients regardless of payer. APRDRGs were developed by 3M and are used in various states and healthcare systems. They provide a more detailed look at the severity of illness and risk of mortality by breaking it down into four subclasses for each DRGG. APRDRGs expand upon DRGs and APDRGs by also assigning to each case a severity of illness SOI subclass and risk of mortality ROM subclass. Severity of illness means the extent of physiologic decomposition or organ system loss of function. Risk of mortality is nothing but the likelihood of dying. Each subclass has four possible assignment levels. One is minor, two is moderate, three is major, four is extreme. This allows for a more nuanced approach to patient classification, which can be valuable for hospitals aiming for precise data on patient outcomes and resource utilization. So what's the big difference? While MSDRG is focused on Medicare patients and ties payment to the severity of illness, APRDRG is broader encompassing all patients and offering a more detailed classification system. Both systems have their merits and are crucial in different contexts. Understanding these differences can help you navigate the complexities of hospital reimbursement and ensure that your organization is optimizing its resources. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this breakdown useful, hit the like button and subscribe for more healthcare insights. See you next time. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button to get more updates.